I love garlic, and I love it in most things. I'm Kate in the Real Simple Test Kitchen, and I'm here to show you a few tips on how to peel and chop garlic. When you're choosing garlic, make sure none of it is wet. As you can see, this is all dry, and it's really tight. The first thing I do is I'm going to peel off as many of the papery layers as possible. That'll make it easier to remove the cloves. Just the outer layer is fine. And if it's really tight, I just set it down on my cutting board and use the ball of my hand and just really mash it into the cutting board in a circular motion. That should loosen it up just a bit and I'll be able to easily take as many clothes off as I need. The rest gets set aside. Because I am going to chop, to peel, I'm just going to cut the end off and then really just whack it with the side of my knife. Then the peel should just easily come off. Garlic is really sticky, so it's easier to do that than try to peel it myself. Again, just cut that end off. That's the end that was connected to the bulb. And then whack it with the side of the knife. And it's okay that it's smashed a little bit because I'm going to chop it next. Just clean the cutting board of any of the papery outside because you don't want that in the chopped garlic. I'm going to start just by slicing through the garlic. Once I have it sliced through, I'll put one end of the knife on the cutting board and just rock back and forth until I reach the desired consistency that I'm looking for. This right here is probably a rough chop, I would say. If I'm going for a finer chop, I'm just going to keep rocking back and forth. Every so often, just scraping off the, the garlic that's stuck to the side of the knife until I get a finer chop. And if I go finer than this, I'll end up pretty close to a mince. This is the perfect finely chopped garlic for me. If I'm really going for a mince, that's when I would probably use a garlic press. You really just put the garlic in the base of the press, and because it's called a garlic press, you press down. And you'll see that as it comes out, it's really fine. You'll also see a lot of that liquid, but it's really finely, almost pulverized garlic. That's what we have. We have a roughly chopped garlic, finely chopped, and then pulverized minced garlic. And I'm ready to cook.